and Cook finds Christie. And there's the opener as well, and the Cherries have scored. It was a really good header, to be fair. And inside the first quarter of an hour, Bournemouth have drawn first blood. With Tara finding the bottom corner, he headed it downwards, and Bournemouth have taken the lead here at St Mary's Stadium. Christie's had an effort which went wide. A couple of other attempts as well for Bournemouth. And this is when they are going to play it at the back, and sometimes it will get risky. Here's Solanke. And Christie makes it two. Two goals in the space of two minutes. They were trying to play it out the back. Yes. Bournemouth win it back, and they take advantage. And this time it's Christie. Unfortunately, like I, I mentioned, this is the way Russell wants to play. This is the way the, his previous teams, MK Don, Swansea have played. They, they take risks in terms of risk for reward. Because if that ball goes into the midfield play, he plays around the corner, so could be out. Actually, Bournemouth press it really, really well. They intercept the ball. Uh, they get the ball to Christie, and he's the disappointment is Christie is alone in the box. So again, a bit like last season, Southampton are not sensing that danger. So when you do lose possession, you have to be switched on to think, right, where is my man? Where's the danger? Who's who's got a chance of scoring here? Who's got a chance of getting a, a shot off? And these are the things that Southampton need to bring to the game. And so it's going to be Alcaraz with a free kick. Or is it not? No, it's going to be Manning this time, who whips it in, and the header! <laughs> Southampton do get the goal. It's Shea Charles with his first star for Southampton, who headed it home and has given Saints the goal at least just before half-time. That has got the crowd going. Two up. Yeah, exactly what they need him. Gives them a little bit of hope, that little bit of belief, but a lovely de delivery from, from Manning and a really, really good run from uh, Shea Charles and a, and a good header as well. He's, he's actually a bigger size than I expected, uh, but a really good header, good finish, and that would do him a world of good. Homer wins the free kick. And again, another young player. Good to see him involved with the senior side, as we said in the first half, with a fair few. Chance here, though. And it's in! He's only been on the pitch for a few minutes. But Stuart Armstrong has made it to all. And they have come back from 2-0 down. We've seen him hit it from there and finding the bottom corner so many times before. And he's done it again. Stuart Armstrong, 2-2. Well, we were speaking about Stuart before the game and um, asking whether he would play an important role this season, what role he would play, but he is a top-class footballer. There's Smallbone, back to Stevens. Are we going to see more chances? We might get one here for Bournemouth, because Brooks is away here, and he's going to score for Bournemouth in front of their own supporters, the 2,500 Cherries fans, with five to play, and Bournemouth may well have won this pre-season friendly. Yeah, a slight frustration there. Just compliment, we were complimenting Southampton how well they've they've done to come back in the game. It came from a control bit of possession, given away, and Brooks showed good pace, really good pace to run in behind. It's a good pass to put him through, and Cole and um, Walker Peters just can't recover. But it comes from Southampton losing possession and being out of position and not being able to recover quick enough.